welcome back to Action News, folks. We have a beautiful Sunday evening ahead of us, and like I said a little bit earlier, it's a great evening to grill. Lots of sunshine and fairly light winds. Now, here's a look at our Blue Bridge right now. Fairly quiet, and it'll stay this way as we finish out our Sunday evening. And overnight, we could see winds just bump up a little bit, but we'll return with more sunshine to start the week tomorrow. We do have a chance of afternoon showers for our Monday, but the good news in all of this is a high pressure system is going to start to roll in starting on Tuesday morning, and we have beautiful weather ahead for this week. We'll see temperatures trend up to those 80s, and we'll have a look at those in just a minute, but nothing to complain about right now. 66 degrees for us right now, and while Walla Walla 75 and sunny in Pasco. We're at about 71 right now for Yakima, still in those upwards of 69 degrees there uh, for Ellensburg. But our satellite radar is showing us we are having a little bit of activity move on shore right now. Again, it'll be short lived for us here. Could see some rain on the west side tomorrow. It'll make its way over uh, towards the basin. Could get a shot of some isolated showers here and there. Eastern mountains could see a few claps of thunder, but we'll keep a close eye on that. Nothing is going to throw us into that severe category. So our future cast is showing us we'll see some cloudy skies tonight. That'll make way for some more sunshine tomorrow. And then again, we have rain likely after 11 a.m. tomorrow, at least for the Tri Cities. Uh, Yakima should be fairly dry. That'll start to push east of us, though. Uh, and by Monday night, we'll see this ridge start to build. And we really won't see any instability in our forecast return until we head into Thursday. And then we could see another shot of showers. But that's all good for us here, especially when we take a look at our drought monitor. We're still in that moderate category, which is actually great right now for both Yakima uh, and Pasco. But we could get to that severe category, especially as wildfire season starts to approach and we head into our summer months. So we're going to keep a close eye on that for you here. Now lows tonight again are fairly mild. Nice Sunday evening for us. 50 degrees overnight for Walla Walla could be at about 52 degrees for Pasco Yakima right there at 50 on the dot tonight and not to worry because we have nice temperatures returning tomorrow. Might want to break out that iced coffee again. It'll be a good one because we'll have a really quiet morning and again we'll have rain into the afternoon, but 73 will be very nice. You could use a maybe a light jacket in the morning, but lose it by those afternoon hours. Now Yakima grabbing that large iced coffee for your Monday morning. We'll take it to those mid 70s with sunshine and again you could see some spotty showers, but likely pushing off by tomorrow night. Now if you are traveling out of town, not too much to worry about here. We'll be in those 60s for both Seattle and Portland. Spokane 60s for you too with a little bit of sunshine and possibly some evening showers and check this out. We'll turn upwards to about 84 degrees by Wednesday for Tri Cities. Yakima 72 to kickstart your Monday could be 78 degrees by Wednesday.